about that time. Hope you tuned in as we go live. Got bad gal, Tanya, Georgie, and Skyline. Black, hold it down for the guys. So get some real shit, grab a cup, catch a vibe. Every Sunday at 7, we getting you baptized. Giving out all these lessons or facts, no lies. Supporting the movement that caps on the rise. I got that brown, holy water wherever I go. Make sure you like, share, comment, and follow. Talk, drink, share the link. Don't forget to let us know what you think. I got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. We got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. I got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. We got that brown, holy water. We got that brown, holy water. Yo, welcome to Brown Holy Water. It's your boy Handsome Lie on the mic. Hope everybody's having a good, productive day. Even though it's raining, you should have got out and did some shit. You know what I'm saying? Hope you didn't sit around, get nobody pregnant or get pregnant. I know how this shit go. Every chick get horny in the fucking rain and shit. Why you mad though? Cause I ain't get no pussy. I jerked off this morning. But <laughs> let's go. Sorry, Introduce yeah. yourself, my team. You yeah, already know what it is. Your boy Black Success. Shout out to the hoes that got them Burberry rain boots that wear them shits when it's not even raining. Uh-huh. But paying attention to your ass too. Boo. Holla at you. <laughs> yep. It's your favorite tomboy, Danny, aka Georgie, whatever you want to call me. Yo, it's Body Yell Tanya. I'm here. <laughs> and Voltron is formed. Uh. Real quick before we start off, brownholywaterpodcast.com. Go get your shirts, hoodies. Also, go get your tickets for the party. We at Lust celebrating our anniversary. Yeah. We're going to fuck Facts. it up in there. Yeah. So Facts. go to brownholywaterpodcast.com. It's going to be a lot of bottles that night. Com. A lot of brown holy water. Yeah. And we not on the love side. We, we fucking with the strippers this time. So. Yeah. 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 A lot of bottles, a lot Bring of hookah. singles. It's going to be a good time, man. Nice yeah. ratchet Throw it puns, a, man. Throw it the strippers, not the bartenders. Uh, throw it at time, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it is all the same. It's all the same thing. <laughs> all right, we're going to um, start off, jump right into these topics. Uh, let's go back to, we've been getting far along in the dating scene, so we don't go back to dating one-on-one. Like, I had a friend that asked me, like, on some real shit, he was like, yo, how do you talk to females? Like, he don't know how to approach females and, like, Get their attention or whatever. So we don't take it all the way back to the beginning. Oh, you, that right, you right one. know. <laughs> Dating, you, you know they call me pimp juice on the cold. side. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know what I, mean? <laughs> I can this show you how cold. it works, baby. Dating one-on-one. Yeah. How do you shoot your shot in person? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we got guys, you gotta let you pimp got juice girls. go. Hold on, you wanna start first? You gotta let pimp juice go. All right, we don't let black success go let... first. Like, if, if, in person, you see a girl, you yeah. attract to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how I do mean, you get your Kobe on? Let me get, let me get, let me, let me give my tips out first. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, for those of you that don't know, you know, I had a, uh, I had a very very successful childhood when it comes <laughs> oh, to boy. the women. Oh, to be nice. honest, from high school to college, I was the fucking man, bro. It was nothing was I couldn't childhood. touch. Like, this shit was just crazy. Like, you know what I mean? This is when it mattered. It was nothing you and, couldn't um, touch? It was nothing I couldn't touch. The okay, only things so. I didn't want to touch was stuff from, like, Red Hook and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me. You know? <laughs> I asked that with it, too. <laughs> so, listen. Um, I tell you, I, I'm... The thing that turned me into a pro when it come to females was rejection. I had to hear a couple of no's first. You got to lose in order to win. Right. You got to <laughs> lose in order to win in this game first. So I, I started getting no's and I was like, damn, what, what's going on? Am I coming on? Am I being too honest? Am I saying, yo, I, I really like you. I want to be with you. They don't like that. I feel like they don't like, when you just be honest on day one, they don't like that. Mm. So what I what I realized, this is how I try to put peanut butter on my sandwich. You understand? <laughs> what I realized is that you gotta throw a joke out there first. Mm. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta throw a, a diversion so that she don't know that you coming in for so the Lord. kill. Yeah, you see the girl, me. you about to go shoot your shot. What's your joke? Yo, woke up, yo, knock, knock. Nah, I'm be like, nah, <laughs> what you gonna do? So I might, I might just walk up and be like, damn, girl, you just gonna drop your purse? And she might just look on the floor or stupid, like, what you talking about, stupid? 
No, you you the dumb one. Check it. You know you got your first on you. And now that that that's just the icebreaker. Once you get her smiling, mm. that's the icebreaker. You could do anything after that is Gucci boots. She is more willing to accept it. Opposed to her walking in the train mad serious and you like, yo, shorty, I really like you. Mm. You know, yeah. it, that's that, that's not gonna happen. Right, so you black know what I mean? with straight comedy. Yeah, I'm real. coming. I'm coming with comedy, and then I'm coming right back with the you know Mike Larry. You know what Mike I mean? Will Smith. I come right back with the Mike Larry. You, you know what I mean? For, for, for that's that. how I do that, huh? You too <laughs> Marcus, I get some Marcus there. <laughs> Marcus Danny, Bernard, how you, how you like guys to shoot their shot when they coming at you in the street? We talk, we ain't talking about like social media. We talking about he approach you. Excuse me, miss. Blah blah blah. Or how you like? What's what gets the you better success rate? Jokes. Jokes. Approaching a joke. So you walk up and just tell you a joke like you said. No, like there's a couple of some I, I don't know like there's a couple of guys who've like walked up to me with like something corny like excuse me miss you dropped something and you really think you dropped something and they I'm like what I dropped. Your heart, or some shit like some dumb shit, and I was like, oh, that, that was cool, that was cool, it was corny, but it was cool. But you know what I mean, like and because you were so off. corny, and, and that's how you got pregnant the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, add that right, into. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I don't know, like I don't, I don't know, like sometimes it's so corny, it's funny. So you mm. like the corniness? Yeah. So if a nigga come to you and be straight corny, bumbling his words, no, shit, you uh, be... no, it depends, it depends. So but I like not, the corny. You're not here for the. Uh, the licking my lips, the squinting. No, um, no, I'm not into. Excuse me, miss. How you doing? Nothing like that. I gotta. You, when you when you tell a joke, you you like you break know the you, ice. you yeah you break okay. the ice. You know what I mean? Then you just approaching because I don't know you. So even if you like, excuse me, miss. I'm saying like I don't know you, and you're not giving me anything. But you, I would like to get to know you. So. You know, when you break that ice, it's kind of like, okay, he's funny. I know one thing about him already. You know what I mean? And mm. I like jokes. Mm. So. Time. <laughs> How can he run up on you? I ain't talking about social media. How can he run up on you and get your attention and make him stand out? So, this is one on one because a lot like, of dudes don't for know. Me, for me personally, like, I'm attracted to, I'm attracted to, Somebody who's calm, cool, and collected. I love somebody who just has that that aura that gives that off. I like the nigga that be in the back of the club in the corner and I see nothing much. That's who I'm attracted to. The guy wilding out, the guy doing the jokes, whatever. Like, that's cute and whatever. But the nigga I'm drawn to is the guy who's calm. Somebody come over to me but, with that same, on that same tone, decibel. Like, hey, good night, how are you? I'm more, incl- I would talk to him just because no it's, it's hey, good night, how are you? Like, the fuck like, I'm not saying. But There's I'm just... Americans out here. Like, <laughs> that was in the club, right? But my thing is, I just like a guy. I don't care what you tell me. Just once you're calm with it, I'm, I'm more. I, I'll, I'll listen to you. But if you start talking dumb shit and saying corny shit, is a dumb. So if he, the calm nigga, woke up to you like, Yo, excuse me, miss, I just need your number. That's it. He ain't say his name. He ain't say nothing. He just like, I just. Need I told back. I'm like, what you need, that, you need, need my number for? I'm a flirt though. I used to be a flirter. I'm, I'm a flirter. <laughs> that sounded like you still get them tips. That sounded, that sounded current. She still watching. getting them tips. Nico watching. Just let you know. She still getting them tips. So you like the cool, calm, collective. Just calm. Just, just don't come with too much energy to me. Don't come like trying to put on a show or half put on a show. Like I'm just, but when you cool, calm, and collected, that put usually means that you're not going to approach me first. So more than likely, because I like cool, calm, and collected too, but the cool, calm, and collected are the ones that I approach. Those aren't hmm. the ones that I'm expecting to approach me. I mean, uh, it depends. It depends. But I just, I just like a little bit of control in what you do. Like I, I see that you're not trying to get attention, but you're getting attention. Mm-hmm. The guys that get it without trying. That's mm-hmm. so fucking but sexy, son. Just to add on to that, La, you know, um, for you dudes that don't know, no, no. <laughs> talking to me because I, I'm one of them dudes. I don't know. I don't this know is pimp on, juice one on one. So I don't. Especially if you're if you're not you know the cutest dude walking around, which you can, as you can see, black success wasn't always you know I mean I'm a six now, but I used to be a four. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, you start off with the joke, and now the follow up punch, the follow up punch is very important. The follow up punch can't be too serious, but it gotta be what you're trying to aim towards and still around the joke area. It's so balance. after you, after you. Throw the joke and you got her smiling and you hit her with the yo, you know what I mean? You look a little hungry, baby. You know what I mean? And see how that and see how that play. You know how to see how that play towards you 
trying to feed her. You know what I mean? If not, then then later then later on, I, and that'd be a good way. to I start think it most up. men, a lot of men, fear rejection. Like they just don't walk up and run down on everything. Then, then especially then you're not a one. man. But you're not a man. I always said that because you're gonna get no's. This will always come back to. I got a lot of no. You see my face? I got a lot of no. <laughs> you know what? And the, and I got a lot when of no. You look no's. about. You think about it. It's always the ugly niggas with the most comments that shoot the No, most. but listen, I, right now, you can't tell me nothing. Yeah, you, you got Right it. now, my confidence is through the roof. Every, all the things that ever told me no is busting U-turns right now. I'm on fire right now. <laughs> I am every chick's type right now. They all want this right now. This is the cheapest version of Kevin Hart you could get. You don't got to no, go to Canal Street. Uh, you got to go to Canal uh, Street, uh, baby. They get that fake Louis Vuitton I back. Kevin. <laughs> I think I have to find, like, just find my opening. I, I just sit and wait. Like, you got to sit and camp mm. out and wait. But and then when like, it's your move, then well, you, you got to take the cake. You got to take the you know, That don't count. That Even don't mean still, nothing. Attract don't mean nothing. You can walk up and still talk your way all out of the pussy. Right, right off rip. That's true. So Facts. you got to wait for your moment, your entry. Listen, and You can't make a first impression twice. Facts. I want to I want to you know comment saying? on so that. You got to come off. You got to be super smooth when you do a, that. Attractive dudes only get the leeway younger. Like when when you're from 16 to 24, you get the leeway if you if you're a good looking guy. As a grown man, chicks don't care right now, son. All that B2K look shit that shit <laughs> don't matter. If you if you can't though. provide and you can't. And you can't do certain things, and you're not knocking it down. Being cute is no longer. It used to be an a, an asset back in the day. Mm-hmm. Now it's a liability. A ugly motherfucker with with confidence is moving <laughs> right now. That's like having a brownstone in Brooklyn. You popping, nigga? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? But I'm just saying, like, it's with, with a uh, ugly. I'm sorry. With a, with, a, with a guy who's like more attractive, more physically, like whatever. It's easier to kind of. Make a little bit of eye contact from a distance, suss out who is kind of feeling you. If you didn't know who to go over to, opposed to just randomly walking up and just shooting a shot at anybody. Because if you're gonna shoot your shot, you're gonna shoot your shot at somebody who's giving you a little bit of. No, it's not. But if you got a dose of reality, and you're the one, you the one that wants you, that's not the challenge. <laughs> you know, I could, if you looking at me all night, I could go talk to her because I know I'm gonna get you later anyway because you've been on it. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go with <laughs> one that's not paying I attention give you that. to me, I give and you then that. later. After I get this one, she leave. All right, let me go find that one that was looking at me all night. Maybe so that's you, the so one So you're doing for two night. for one? You such a hoe. Yeah. I can't stand him. You know. But girls are like that too. That's how it goes. <laughs> you got the short thing right there. You're going to go for the possibility. You make sure you move on the possibility. Perfect. <laughs> okay. The short thing, the one that's already checking you out. It's so you like, got, it's in the party. You got two in a possibility. Two in a possible. It's like space, baby. You got to leave the <laughs> you in you a make party. Make a hand. In a party, it's even easier. Mm-hmm. So that's to hard to in a party. No, it's easier. If you can dance, if you can dance, it's easier. That's when you that's I, do the, I do the, I do the, I do that shit too. Yes, hey. This right here, all night. This hey. right here. She was dancing with me all night. Crying. I got her. I but got have her. her crying. Then you send her a couple shots. It's over. It's a mummy, dog. It's a mummy. I'm definitely getting that. And right. I got, and I got white teeth. So you know, oh, this black, at night black, is gonna like that's who plays poppy. Yo. This shit right. That's who plays. This shit's been the winner, my G. Yo, I females. uh if you see a dude in the street, would you approach him? Should if women approach men they like in the street? Like, should you shoot your shot? If you've seen him, it's like, damn, I need that. Have you, you shot your me? shot? You waiting on me? Nigga. Well, I'm the, I'm the bad <laughs> person. Aretha Franklin this of, week. <laughs> I'm Diana Ross, bitch. Keep calm. Oh, Keep calm, my nigga. Keep the bitch. Let's, but for me, like, I'm not a... I can't do randoms. I say it all the time. I can't do a random guy. Like for me to like a guy, I have to be like some amount of familiar with you. And if me, you physically attract. You never seen somebody that's physically attracting just like, like no, I need to say something. No, I'm a fucking. That's the weirdest thing about me. Like I don't care how good you look. Like I have to. We have had to have some sort of like some sort of interaction for me to have a to start what? developing a track. That's me. I'm a fucking. That's why I can't have a one night stand. Like I'm a fucking weirdo, son. Weirdest thing about me. But let's say if I was it was somebody I come to the let's say the bar a lot and I seen him whatever whatever. So now I'm gonna go up to him and like, hey, what's up? It's T from the spot. Da da da. Yeah, I'm going to shoot my shot then, but it's only because I'm a little familiar. And, we, and it's easier for me because now I got background to go on. Like, you remember that, that last Saturday you came, you had the head So you have to see him at least more than berry. once before you shoot your shot. Huh? You have to see him at least more than once yeah, before you shoot Yeah, somebody a little familiar for me. I, I can't do a random. I can't do a random at all. Danny, have you ever shot your shot at a dude you thought was attractive? Um, yes. Yeah, I did. What made Dan- you do it? Danny line. <laughs> Danny, no, Danny like the tomboy, so she like being the aggressor. 
Mm-hmm. No, but it depends. Hey yo, hey yo, she don't do? communicate on the nigga. That's like, yo, yo, my nigga. That's what you chose. Y'all thought the yeah. skits was a joke, but now you run like gay. See, you like daddy, daddy. I thought you was gay. Nah, I used to be. You know, what I mean? <laughs> it was Brenda, Leticia, Linda, Felicia, Don, Lashawn, Alexa, Talisha, Teresa, Monica, Sherry, Bridget, <laughs> Cookie, what? Veronica. Why you know the whole thing? Shoot that shot. Well, I'm not holding the ice cream, Mama. Tanya, Sahaya, Lorena, Carla. Kalina, <laughs> Selena, <laughs> Katrina, <laughs> Sabrina, about three kids. <laughs> 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 I'm mad you said Tanya. Danny, Danny did not shoot her shot. Wait, <laughs> Tanya. Yeah, but go ahead. How, um, how, how was it? Um, how just, long ago was it? Um, you ain't gonna say that. Yeah. But um, um, yeah. How do you do it? Yeah. I just started a conversation. I don't know. I just you, I saw, you seen him. You felt like I just felt like I just said some. I don't even remember. Like I just said something to him. Like. I don't know, I like something or something. It was it was just, it was corny. It was just a way for me to spark up a conversation or say something to him. But yeah. Did you get him? Did you yeah, get him? She's a, she's a gorgeous girl. Of course she got him, though. That don't mean nothing. She's me. a Looks gorgeous girl. Say something stupid to me in the street. I'm looking at her. Listen, Looks don't mean a nothing. faithful man walking away. <laughs> so back. And, a and, if you, happy man? and my thing is, if you got a girl, because I am yeah. asking that, if you got a girl, I'm walking away. I don't right. play with people's men. Because right now, I'm curving them. They, they sick right now. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, my Black, how would you feel if a girl came up to you, ran? Have a girl ever ran down on you? Like, yo, what's up? Yeah, I, I told you, I been, I been hot the last, the last. But I'm saying, years. how does it feel? Tell um, me. um, like would you? It's would never. You, it's you caught off guard. You like, oh my god. Nah, it, like, it, it is shocking. <laughs> it, is, it is shocking because it's like that's guaranteed buns. You understand? But then it's kind of dis- like guaranteed. Buns. It's kind of disappointing because it, it's never that's who right. you wanted to come holler at you. It'd be something that's like, oh, okay, you know, I'll show you like me, I'll take it. <laughs> it's see, that's the different that because when Not- y'all do it, y'all doing it because y'all, y'all want to fuck. Oh, whatever. Listen, like listen. me talking to him, I never had sex with the dude. Like we talked for a little while. Why would you go to Yo, out some, your way? You because he was attractive, attractive and I and I wanted to talk well, to him. That's childish. I, but when that's you, childish but, of you. No, that's not childish of me because once you start, you I'm getting to know you now, and once I'm starting to get so to know you, so he talked his way out of the yeah, pussy. Yeah, he talked his way out of it. That's why that guys you don't say much. Yeah, Somebody says saying. a girl drop a jewel. What's Nina she just said she said uh, a woman shoots a shot by position. Was it by putting you in a position to shoot yours? Facts. That's mm. power of, of, of manipulation. Yeah. Yeah. That's a joke. Yeah. 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 Nah, that but that's still a shot that though. Happens. That's still a shot though. I know, but, but then you figure out a way to 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 pos- to reposition. Mm-hmm. So if you really want to talk to that person, Yo, like, Natalie you out here know. talking about she shooting shots though. I'm a hmm. I'm gonna need some pointers, sis. Well, no, no, I don't need pointers to shoot my shot anymore. I, I was the same. Let's go. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like black though. Black said, uh, normally the chick that shoots your shot is not really the one that you really want. So it's a chick that just jumping on a limb and going all. It's kind of like petticoat. You got your petticoat now, and then he's like, "All right, let me just." So tell you to curve it, just curve it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just a piece of ass. Oh, you mad? No, you yo, you know what oh, kills me? them I if you hit it with the, yo, you're like the sis. Chill, sis. Oh man, because it kills y'all when we be like you the bro. Yeah, a chick, a chick really me got bro. tight at me for calling. She getting bro. Bro. That's like, for sure. Don't call me bro. Listen, I am bro. nobody bro. I don't tell you. Like. Niggas, I mean, Chase call niggas bros all the time still be fucking them, so that don't mean nothing. That's and a fact, too. That's a well, fact, too. I don't, no real nigga feel no kind of way. You could be the bro right now, but... Or the sis right now. Yeah. Whatever, and get but. and get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all fuck around, got my nigga pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> got the bro pregnant, sis. Bro pregnant, <laughs> man. What? How the fuck? <laughs> all right. Got <laughs> mad <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy, you know that Henny be crazy. All right, look, all right. This is like the finale of the uh, the pull up, the dating type shit. You shoot your shot, right? Mm-hmm. You make your shot. How long before you make that first call or text? Is it a grace period? Can you shooting like texting or calling too soon? Be like, oh, this nigga's thirsty, or waiting too late. It's like, oh, this nigga's just too cool for school. So. Do you play those type of games? Where, like, if I bag your number today and I don't hit you till like next week, oh, like, I, like 
I fucked up Fuck or should I hit you the same day? You fucked up if you Got do it. that shit. You fucked all so the way if you do that shit. So if like I hit you, me, if like, I bag you and I hit you the same now, you won't be like, oh, this nigga thirsty or nothing? It means you're interested. Like, yeah, it wasn't, okay. it wasn't a false. I want to know. I want to know. For me, I feel like I feel like if 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 we like connect, like at least by the next morning, depending on where we meet. Mm-hmm. So let's say we met in the club. Like, I little hope you get home safe is okay. You know, sometime in the afternoon, like, hey, you up, whatever. Let's let's keep that energy going. But don't don't shoot your shot tonight, then six days later shut up. I'm going to think you have a life in between that, my nigga. And f- f- by life, I mean you got a bitch or a circle of bitches that you got in rotation, and you finally remember me six days later. Like, fuck all that pride shit. That's why the, the communication right is good right now, because some dudes feel like, nah, I'm going to wait like a day or two before nah, I Nah, you got Because I don't want to seem thirsty. That's but childish. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no. That black. It's, it's some Thirsty's childish, childish. But then sometimes it's like, I know dudes Listen. who hit a chick the same night, Listen. and they won't hear from her again. First but no, it depends, on, but, but three, but it depends on what you hit it. Like, it, dep- it depends, depends on what you're saying. You, on where you got it. If you got it in the club, then you can't hit her. I mean, that's obvious. You can't hit her. Why like, not? Okay. I'm, no, no, no. I'm wondering it's okay. You got, it, you got okay. it in the club. That's kind of... Unless she was by herself... Nah, you can't. No, that's but you feel it though. Some people they'll text you and be like, "Yo, have get home safe." If I got that's you, nice. if I Simple got you, it's a lot of cat and mouse in the beginning. Yeah, right. It, but if so I got you, you gotta club, realize I'm leaving that alone. You know what I'm saying we got two dudes. If two I met girls, you in the afternoon now, what's like the grace period? I hit you the next day. Do you I can wait a couple of yeah, days yeah. before Listen, I shut up. First of all, I'm calling you right then and there. I gotta make sure I got the right number. That's that's step one. Nigga, you supposed to have the right number. Fuck that. Step two is after I get the right number. Because girls don't like that. What? If she give you the number, you like, hold on, I'm gonna call you right now. Some girls be that's giving a, you the number just off. to be like, yeah. That's a turn off. Some girls be like, yo, come I, I, on, nigga. I don't, I, I don't care about that. No, I'm for me, no. Right no that's how I, I do it is like, number. I'll do it. I'll be like, let me take my phone and text myself. I'll do mm. that. So that day, yeah, you definitely got my number. And I got mm. your number. I text mm. myself. I, I text my name to you. I'm like, this. And I want to whatever, and I text your name to my phone. So I was mm. like, yeah, I'm Tanya, whatever, whatever. And we say this, I know you, I know you got my legit contact. Yeah. It's not, was your number, 347, whatever, whatever. And then we hope and pray. I'm aggressive. I'm aggressive. I, I'm, I'm going to get the Same number. Night. I'm going to get the but number. But I don't like aggression, If I met though. you in the afternoon, I'm calling that nigga. Yo, you know what I mean? I might what text you right in the club. Even though yeah, what you doing? What you doing? Why you, why you over there talking at that? <laughs> that is, that is, that is, that is, you a dickhead. You a no, dickhead. Well, that, that's, that's no ex. You can't do that. You know what I mean? You can't like, do that. You but you can, you, you can text her like, yo, if you're thirsty, you know what I mean? You come you come to the section. You understand? And then leave it at that. Oh, you got a section? No, 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 you, huh? got, you got a section. Oh, you, you got a section. Yeah, 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 you got to let them know it's different. I'm like, you know it's a section over here. You ain't got to play the wall, baby. You can come to the ground, holy water. That's not some smooth criminal type shit. That's not what I mean. That would come over here. Like, if you, you know. You want to drink. That's courtesy, actually. She came over, I think she'll burn. I don't want her no more. That's actually cordial, Black. Hold on! No, if she bring her friend. You see, what you got to do to test out is when she do come, See when she grabbed the bottle if she make one drink or two. She'll make three. See, if she make two drinks, whoa, bitch. I would do a two drink max. Whoa, and I would tell bitch. you before, I'd be like, yo, my yes, girl's with yes, me. You gotta say that. Like, my you girl's with that. me and I don't want to whatever because she See, get a drink or whatever. But sometimes a chick try to be cute, she get one cup and pour a lot in there. Cause she oh, nah, that's, that's gold, whack. And then she gonna pass I'm too grown friend. for those if games, man. If you're doing cheap shit like that, I gotta get you up out of here. I'm blocking nah, you. Nah, I can't do that. Like, if I'm by my, if I'm by my girl and you invite me to your section, I'm not gonna let, leave my girl in VIP. I'm not that type of friend. Like, it's me, and my girl coming. It, uh, it's both, are uh, both of us good? And then after mm. that, like, if the drink is coming, it's like, yo, it's me, and my girl. I'm not gonna milk it. I'm not gonna abuse the shit. But I'm gonna mm. let you know, I'm not leaving my friend hanging. You fucking crazy. Yeah. And your girl better be socializing with some of my That's friends too. That's what I'm saying. Too. She Facts. don't do that. Yeah. She that don't do that. She just gonna come drink we'll throw a drink and then look at other out. niggas. No. Nah. She ain't gonna be like, who that with the hair? Mm-mm. You no, look on we this come, side, we baby. chill, look we on. vibe, whatever. We yeah. chill with everybody in the crew. If we, you invite me to my section, mm-hmm. I gotta be a good guest as well. Yeah. Danny, how you yeah. feel? You quiet? How you feel? Because I'm not a nightlife person. This is we ain't about so just nightlife. Just regular I'm on just the street. Listening. Met you at Starbucks. Right, you gotta make Danny feel comfortable in the studio. In the studio. Shout out to Danny. She's featured on Mano news album. She's on two different tracks. But uh, hey. yeah, let's talk about that. Danny in the studio. Thank you. A dude man. trying you have to, to get, uh, get you're not gonna get Starbucks. me in the studio. But um, anywhere. so what was the question again? I forgot. Like, is it a grace period? Like, would you um, feel a kind of way if he texts you the same day? So he no, I don't feel a way if he texts me the same day. I mean, if the vibes are there, the vibes are there. Um, I think people think too much into when you're supposed to text. Like, yeah. there's no real set 
Like, you're supposed to text at this time or you're supposed to text at that time. Go with the vibe. Like, it's either they're going to fuck with you or they're not going to fuck with you. Whether you text now or you text two weeks later. Because you you could have got my number now and you could text me two weeks later. And I still reciprocate the text or whatever. And we still talk from then because it's not that serious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not like I fell in love with you when I first seen you. So, you know what I mean? And you can text me the same day or you can text me at night as long as you're not overdoing it. That's fine. Fellas, oh, I say as long as you're not sending you like Wait. dick pics and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, like, no, 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 no. That's like third. I need to know the interest is there. <laughs> so that's for me. For me, like I want to know some of my interest is there. I don't want to feel like I don't want to feel like he probably got my number six hundred six number. Even if that's probably what happened, I don't want to feel like that. So it's like I want no interest is there. Like you gotta reach out to me at least by the morning, at least Everybody by the mid morning. Like, just even if it's one text, you a fucking dickhead. Like, even if it's one text, I like, I need to know, okay, well, okay, I didn't waste my time. He wasn't just trying to get numbers that night for fun. Like, he might probably d- didn't really like my vibe and whatever. And we go from there, but don't be waiting fucking three days later. Three days, fellas, your, 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 your subscription has been fucking canceled. No, fellas, this is real shit. But is that you the only her? nigga you No, if you, to? it don't. Oh, I don't know. I'm, like, you know I'm, what I mean? Like, I mean, if I got niggas in rotation, like, if, you not gonna come into the rotation, my nigga, you can't wait three days. If you get her number. That day you have to text her the same day. That's how you can get your one night stand too. The <laughs> vibe could be going so good. I swear to God, That's it could be going fact. so good. Especially you meet at the day party. Fact. You met her at four o'clock, you text her, now you go get something to eat at eight, nine o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, you go to the true. hotel by 11, 12. Yo, you had a whole full day. Son. You had a great a night. And she's in that mood. You yes. might not get it in that mood again. That's You get your ultimate one night stand story right there. Boom. You she's in. Same. She transformed every chick Fellas, that go to brunches. Any girl in the club or something. Text her at night. See if she hungry. <laughs> she says she hungry. Oh, you busy about, yo, what you doing? If she trying to see you, then you got your, you got your story for the night, man. That's a fact. Don't wait two or three days. because that, Like she said, that energy might be going. She might not be mad at her man no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she don't feel like hoeing out. She's going to do some experience that night. You just drop the ball, man. He who hesitates, masturbates, That's baby. a fact, yo. BrownHoodyWaterPodcast.com, man. <laughs> Get your shirts, man. You got to shoot your shot while it's dead. Uh, anybody else got anything else left to say on this before no. we jump to the next one? Nah, we good on that. Black success, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> mad annoying, <laughs> black. <laughs> All right, um, let's get to the uh, second topic of the show. This is our, like, relationship topics, but we're going to talk about the rebound relationship. Oh, Lord. Yes. Oh, the whole CI is here, son. Fuck Henny, CI. Kenny, Rob, Mello, oh, my Henny man, Kenny, Dre. Right son, right yeah, Henny, Kenny over there and all, and all that. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about, if you don't know what the rebound relationship is, that's like fucking with somebody. Cootie love, what it is. Yeah, or yeah. you fucking with somebody straight after you've been out of a relationship. So it's like. You basically trying to put a band-aid on your cut just to, you know what I'm saying, string somebody so, along type shit. So, question, is it relationship after relationship or you just you just It could be relationship after relationship. I know girls that get out of relationship, bay head, two a month later, bay, another bay, another bay. What's the question? Uh, like about? chronic relationship people. This is the rebound. Have you ever had a rebound relationship or have you been in somebody's rebound? Mm. Damn. Let's start with you. Let's go, Black. Damn. You're a hot commodity. Um, Right. Have I, have I ever been somebody's rebound? Or have you had a rebound relationship? Or have I had, have you ever broken with your um, chick? Nah, I, n- I never. I way? never had a rebound relationship because I only been in like two real relationships, mm-hmm. uh, and it was really spaced apart. But I have been someone rebound before, you know. And it wasn't like a relationship, but it was like you was the rebound guy. You was the right after that guy. You understand? And. It's kind of confusing because at that time, they swear they want the opposite. So now you become this superhero. You like, they love everything about you because you're the opposite of what they had. Mm-hmm. And um, of course, it's it's like a temporary high. And, you know, I'm just trying to reap the benefits of being the guy that's piping at the time, you know, and being able to call and pull up whenever I want. <laughs> but um, it's, it's, it's a weird thing because you... You get you have front row seats to see someone tra- transition from this this person that that doesn't want this so called thing the so called ex and you know this ex they they put the ex down badly he ain't shit he don't got no money he broke he don't do nothing for the da, 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 da. they put him down all day every day and then you see them transition right back into wanting that same person and, and mm-hmm. I think that's a that's a scary thing because you lose respect for the person. You know what I mean? Like, you're not disappointed because you already knew and you was only there for what you was there for. But to 
to see them go back after all the energy they put in the putting this particular person or type of person down mm -hmm. it's like nah damn you right back over there what the fuck so you was just talking damn i can't even talk i can't take you serious anymore you know what i'm saying and and that's that's how that is you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, danny um i don't know like have i ever had a rebound relationship what is what do you consider like a rebound like right after you break like up you break up with your man like is there two a months later period? you got another boyfriend no have you dealt with somebody who broke up like their girl two months, two weeks later? He like, oh no, you my girl now type shit. No. So you never been involved in nothing like that. Mm -hmm. well, I guess your answer is. What's up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go out there and be no hoe. Tanya, how many stories you had? No hoe. You a dickhead. Like <laughs> no. I've never, I've never done rebound relationships because we all. We all know how to, how that shit goes. Like, I'm grown enough to know that people come out of a relationship, it's never over at the time. Like, it takes a while for a relationship to really be over, over, over. And it takes a while for the person to actually be over their person. And I don't want to be caught in the crossfire of that shit. Because sometimes motherfuckers just be mad at the time. They be mad the person don't got their shit together, but two, three months later, their heart's still with that fucking person and just pull out and leave your ass high and dry. So, I, if I'm dating somebody, I'm trying to find out, like, you know, when was your last serious relationship? Why did it end? No, when did it end? And once you tell me someone that was like really close, I'm like, I know how to move with you. Like I'm not getting my hopes all the fucking way up when it comes to because it could happen that you can go back. And I've had situations where even I was dating a guy, we were in a relationship, but they went back to their person after mm -hmm. consistently shitting on them. This whatever she did, she not like you. I, I'm like, first of all, don't ever compare me to any woman. Like. I don't, it does, doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't do anything for my ego or my esteem. So don't be telling me, oh, you better than her, whatever, whatever. Because you could say all that shit and still eat that bitch pussy tomorrow night. So I've never been it. And if I, I'm trying to make myself aware of if somebody just came out of something because I don't want to be in that. And I've never done it to somebody else. I've avoided relationships because knowing I came out of something. Because I'm like, I know I still have feelings like my ex. I don't want to get nobody's son caught up in that shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, that's how I feel. <laughs> I, I told people that, like, y'all yeah, just came out of something. Like, I don't want to do that to you. We could be fucking around and have fun and shit, but I'm not going to be bae. You're not going to be bae. I don't think I've ever been into, like, like I said, like Black said earlier, like, I ain't had too many relationships to jump into another one. But I've definitely been, like, a rebound guy for a chick who just came out of, like, a relationship, who looking to mingle real quick, fuck a nigga here and there, and then go back to their man or some shit like that after mm -hmm. that. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Sometimes you, I remember it's when. It's not a good thing. It's not. <laughs> to be honest with you, it's really not a good thing. If you really think about it, it's not a good thing because this person is at their most vulnerable state. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Folk. You out here, you out here giving. It's a temporary band aid. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you out here, you out here, you might be giving grade A cop. Now this person is confused. This is somebody that's not even stable. You're not even thinking straight. Because you're so here. disappointed that this person played you. Because most of the time, it's someone that that they felt they were better than. They were doing a favor to connect them with this with this person. You understand? She's out here doing that all the time, leaving. It. Break up with they man, give mm -hmm. out some good ass pussy, and then mm -hmm. go right back. Then have a baby by him. Do, do something crazy. Going to act crazy do something long term <laughs> in order to keep him, and then still end up being single again. Because and I got a lot of those. On, a lot on of people do relationship shit too soon. Also, I, you I go think, to relationship yeah. shit. Like I'm serious. Like make it fucking clear what we doing. Like don't be t making telling me we in a relationship, acting like we in a relationship, talking like we in a relationship. But you know that's not what you want. Like. Be truthful I don't think and honest. Are, I don't think people aren't putting that out there. I think people are just putting it out there, putting and it then in their head that that's actions. what's going on. I think females know better, but they put it in their head that that's what's going on. That's because well, they don't want to be called a hoe. Like they well, don't want to be called a hoe. Well, he's he's Girls, eating like, the, he's, he's eating so food that's here. What I'm saying. He's sleeping over. He's he's, he's he's he gave me a hundred dollars to go towards the freaking ca cable. All of a sudden, that's not a relationship. That's nigga just fuck with you. Like there's some nigga who just want to make sure you straight. Like no, that's not a relationship. That's just showing you that's it. That's it. Like, like, fuck but the thing is, home. I think a lot of girls try to say, "Well, that was my man," because they want to seem like they was just fucking somebody. Like it like. Take your break, sis. Like, get your nigga on. Like, you fuck with on a certain level, but y'all not there. It's okay. You're not a hoe. You're not a fuck. I promise you're you not a hoe. You are a hoe, sis. You are. 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 You
you're you're a you're you're an indecisive hoe. You don't you don't know which direction <laughs> you want to go what? with. You understand? You you you're you're a little confused <laughs> at the moment, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. You're not a hoe, sis. You're not a hoe. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You're not Chris a hoe. Chris Jones, what's up? Yo, um. Next question. Let me check. <laughs> Got side oh, track. Um, <laughs> is it wise to date immediately once you break up? No. Of course not. We just we just talked about. No. I wise to date? <laughs> yes. Date. It is wise to date. It's wise um, to date. Like I don't say yes. The way you over people Mm-mm. is to get on top of somebody else. No date, date, date no, I mean, no because time. going Sometimes back to what do. I said, going back to our religion, <laughs> lot going back to our religion originally said motherfuckers confuse relationships with dating as two very different fucking things for me i believe now in dating but dating is not dating is not a relationship it's not completely being wholeheartedly invested in somebody you're getting to know somebody enjoying them dating you're spending is time fun. with them it's that's fun you say, spending time so that's, that's what, okay and that helps say, wait, you wait, wait, wait. but before y'all was saying oh don't be doing girlfriend shit. That's part of dating. Though. Listen, dating but ex- that's part like of exclusive shit, dating. Though. That's part of exclusive. Dating comes in levels. You mm-hmm. date, Everything you have whatever, and then after that, you're like, okay, well, I like you. Your vibe is good. I want to just be exclusive with you. You move into that, and then after exclusive dating, then it goes to relationship. Motherfuckers I, jump to relationships. Let me, let me I'm gonna something. jump to him uh, uh, real quick because we talk about dating. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I, 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 I gotta get this. I gotta get this out. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta swear. Yeah, listen. do it, man. Listen, get it out. Um, get it out. Because I was gonna go know, with that. Oh God! When it comes to the when it comes to the female body, right? <laughs> For three weeks, twenty one days, sometimes, sometimes twenty five days, you can do all the fucking that you want. And then for three to seven days, there's something called the menstrual cycle. It's your period. It's, it's bleeding. It has to refresh what the fuck? before you can fuck again. To, this is what I'm telling you. An you know this is an talk. analogy because you yeah. gotta take a break. All right. You can't go from dating and you gotta take this is what vacations is for. When you bleed, your pussy taking a vacation from, from fucking all the pounding that you're doing, all of all of all the Applebee's after parties that you going to and shit, and you end up fucking a dude that got you a two for twenty. Like your pussy need a break. And you you can't go Just from Just because you dating one person. you fucking everybody. That's yes, true you also. Are. That's no, not true. You are. that's the thing. And so that's people not true. is dating Be- without fucking yes. Yes. In, a, in adult life? Yes. yes. You're lying. No, it's true. Yes, you're true. lying. Multiple de- people multiple dating. Just to have, just to have company Multiple around. Multiple dates, that too. Yes. four or five dates. You know, yes. been on four dates without hitting. The never trip? in my life. Me neither. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we not on a date number two if I don't think I'm fucking. What's wrong with you? I have. And I'm trying to hit on the first day. <sighs> I've been on multiple I've dates without fucking. I've, I've, I've been, with, I've been date. I dated somebody for like two years. We never had sex. Yo, that nigga needs that's a refund. That's not dating. That's, you, that's a gay. friend. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> friends don't know. We were dating. You was a date. Did he eventually hit? Yeah. It was sympathy though. That's bad. You, Two years? You, you gave him sympathy pussy because you supposed to gave him that pussy in the first two And weeks. yo, the crazy thing is between those two years, she is fucking someone else. Uh-huh. Why are you mad at This is why you can't let these chicks play you, dog. Facts. You got to listen to pimp juice, dog. You got your way to play you, man. These chicks will play you, man. And this nigga's pipe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of chicks want you to do that. They want you to feed them, buy them a little drink, because the dude they currently fucking can't provide that. Wow. You know first what I mean? Of all, He's a little tired. No, up. I have so more respect nasty. for my vagina. I have I'm way not more respect you per for my vagina. Se, but I'm most saying. females that have you don't that know same your mindset. Mindset. You got no respect for her. <laughs> At all. <laughs> what? At all. Most of them her vagina. With that you know what <laughs> they be like that, son. Nah, dog. If I'm taking you out, I'm spending money. No, no. You want to fuck, but that don't necessarily not, mean that you're, you're not trying to treat your wallet like they treat David yeah, Duck. <laughs> exactly. If you're, not <laughs> to, if you're not trying to fuck, let me know immediately. We can go Dutch moving forward. What the fuck is we doing? Fuck I, don't, the thing is, I don't mind paying for this. I'm not, That's once again, up. I'm not one of those that oh, like, no, he got paid it, for all that. Oh, no, fuck with a motherfucker like me, you got to pay. Nah, but two years. I'm not fucking for two years. Two years is kind of crazy. Now we friends. Okay. <laughs> okay. That wasn't talking, was texting all day different. and going on dates for two years. No, it was it was sporadic. It was like, like y'all take breaks for a month when hey like hear from each other. Yeah, and stuff here and like there, that. whatever. Yeah. But he never it was he never pressed for pussy. He never You, you for gotta pussy. stop letting these chicks have these fake you standards to you. <laughs> I feel like you be agreeing with them. You gotta stop yeah, letting them have these things. Everybody. Because my thing is this. Everybody don't let them, the world, don't let them try to play that little 90 day rule oh, with you. <laughs> now don't let them do that shit. Because the truth is Yo, this, motherfucker. Nah, nah, nah. After, you, after you put the ring on them, their father. Don't let these Ladies, fake traditional chicks days, come on. No, no, no. Real no. niggas 
gonna the wait. The only way you're gonna hold Rem- out for ninety days Rem- is if your wait. father is ready to pay for the wedding. If he's not ready to pay for for the, for the wedding and you don't know the motherfucker, get the fuck. You better fuck me within what the first week. What are you talking week. about the wedding? It's the same for, thing, What? Everyone want to be fake traditional. You can't follow some of the I'm not rules. Traditional. You gotta follow all the I rules. Am who That's I am. A fact. That's you it. gotta follow all the rules. I don't the follow rules. I follow, follow my own rules, rules at the end of the day. But no, my your own, rules my are not valid. Rules are just my rules. Your rules are not valid. I don't give you gotta a follow fuck. black success rules, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I Only my rules. Can't all right, listen. All right. If you found out you're in a re- rebound situation, right? Mm-hmm. Should you leave and protect your heart, or chance it with the possibility that you can stay together and be happy? <laughs> Is a dub. That was hard. Is a, a dub. I, I know. It's, it's, <laughs> fair, it's, 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 it's like a dub. If you felt out, boom, you're in a rebound situation. Like, this person, you clearly know that they still have feelings for their ex. But you feeling them. Like, yo, they feeling, they feeling you too, but they don't know how they're going to, if they're going to break loose yet. Gotta Do go. you protect your heart and move on? Like, like, just leave them? Or you, you take the chance and do it? I'm you dip you said my nigga. Nigga. I did it. You left somebody who's close to it, wasn't it? You, I you, you felt the kind of way? I, I mean, left. you felt something towards them? I left. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I left. Why? Because tell me why. common sense is that you don't want someone that's 50-50. You can't be 50% John and 50% Dave. You can't, you can't be in the middle of that. You, you, just, you just can't because at the end of the day, even if you pick John, some days you're going to be thinking about Dave. Or maybe every day you're gonna think about Dave. Maybe lunch breaks you're gonna you you're gonna think about Dave. You're gonna be a coulda woulda shoulda motherfucker. That's an indecisive did I make the right decision type of person that you're dating. So they're never gonna give you a hundred percent because they're not a hundred percent in it. It wasn't a hundred percent decision. But in the Facts. beginning, you never a hundred percent. You just basically kind no, of but, but, with no, the no, flow, no, no, no. But, but listen, what you said. You're saying someone that still have feelings for their ex. And it's yep. the beginning. And if the if that if that person still has feelings for their ex and you have feelings for that person, I'm saying. The best option right there is to remove, remove yourself, yourself from that situation. Because even right. if, let's say things work out, fuck it, I bet we're gonna make this work, we're gonna get this clear, we're gonna whatever. Mm-hmm. They could always hit you with the yo, you know what? And this 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 happened to good dudes that freaking um walk in and and, and you know be end up being um. Why always gotta be dudes? Why um, can't be girls too? Like female, we both go. All through. right, but I I don't know no female story. It happened to good dudes end up being stepdaddies <laughs> and all that, and then out of nowhere. Three, four years down the line, this is he's he's invested. Pookie coming he's back. He's 100 in. No, she hit him with the. Uh, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I want to try to be a family again. What? Wow. And it's like he's wrong. Time. He's wrong. He's wrong for questioning that. <laughs> but he he's also right for feeling like what the fuck are you talking about? So it's like why even put yourself in those shoes? So you want to bounce? I'm gone. You're a fool for staying. Facts. I'm staying. I'm Vegas, man. I like playing odds. <laughs> These light skinned motherfuckers always you feel do like wild you play shit. You gotta, you know? Y'all light skinned motherfuckers do wild shit. Yeah, you do. Out. Sometimes you gotta you gotta put yourself out on the risk. You gotta bet on yourself. Sometimes, man. Okay, honey. Yeah, yeah man. You can't, okay. You can't you can't beat out someone's mind. This is what they're thinking about all day. Everybody nah. has minds no control. change though. Sometimes yeah, minds, minds do change, change but people how change. often? Because a lot. You're, a lot. you're gonna life argue. Changes. You you're gotta gonna adjust have to life. problems, and guess what you're gonna do? Hey, yo. You're gonna be thinking, damn, what if I'd have went this way? But yo, that's in, in that's any, any situation. Any, that's, anything, son. that's in any situation. You gonna think it's always you? You always have yeah. a choice. That's what life is about. Person. It's about choice. I need a hundred percent. No one's gonna be hundred percent. You want hundred percent me right now? One hundred. One hundred. Everything is black success right now. Everything in sushi life is black. Success. Now, but in the beginning, Jackie Chan was the nigga. I mean, she was on her. She 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 found out that he didn't do his own stunts. Yeah, she was like, oh shit, he was like, you fucking fried me and Chris Tucker. I don't want to eat. You fucking fried. <laughs> but like for me, like when I for like some of my ex always talk about I broke up. But like when I broke up with him, I know I wasn't fully over him. So anybody coming into my life, I would never try. I never tried to have a relationship because I knew that if was anything, you honest? stop. Yes, I I'm was. Asking. I told him like, listen, like I still That's got shit I'm dealing with. 
I got shit I'm dealing with. I want you to know you're getting yourself into. People were okay. They respected. They respected that I was open, and honest about it. Ain't no fucking happen. My ex came back in my life. He came back and he did the shit, and there was the tears and whatever. And I, and I went back to him. And it's like you wow. see why? You ain't shit. But listen, but but I wasn't once again. I wasn't you in. You ain't shit. You wasn't playing with nobody's son. You was being honest. I, I wasn't. Niggas knew. Like, they nigga, like, I, I'm not in a position to fully commit to you the way you want me. So I'm not, I'm not the one to have ass. I'm not going to get in a relationship. You'll probably get some ass. You're going to have some dinners and shit. We can go out. We can Shit's have fun. Shit's half ass all the time. So don't but I'm telling you. Mad. But I'm telling you. You right. know. You, I'm, They know. They knew that's where I was. All of them could tell. All of them. They could tell you. Because Danny do it all the time. Danny misleaded so much dudes. And that shit is wrong, yo. <laughs> Mad they dudes know, like her. And they she know just that. inboxed to them. Hey, cash at me this amount of money. This shit is crazy. <laughs> I don't know how to cash at, first of all. But they know, and I went back to my ex. I, and when, as soon as he came back in my life, I was like, you know, I'm going to try one more time because I feel that's where my heart is. It fell through, but at least I, when I was done, I was closed. I was done. That, that chapter in my life was closed completely after that because I knew. And then I was like, I'm ready now because I knew. I'm confident. And then Cookie happened. That when you... Here. All right, real quick. Before... When you... <laughs> this nigga. I drinking, bro. Yo, all right, wait, wait. All right, before you went back to your ex, was there anybody that was like a good potential man that you they had? They all were, yo. They all were. Everybody There's wasn't no good. <laughs> nah, <laughs> they because I'm selective, so I select people based on certain things, and they were good. I some I somebody that I felt like I was I was probably in love with, but he didn't have my heart. Like it was. It was okay. that. It was like I felt my heart was in there. Like everything was, everything was good. Why are you looking at me fucking stuff like that? In the I'm looking at the camera. You know, it's ladies watching. <laughs> but that, that but, they, but they the watching, only thing watching. he didn't have, the only thing he didn't have was my heart. And I can't be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't have my heart, you know. But but that's what I said from inception. Like I even I was honest to the point where it's like I know I'm not done. So I don't want to rebound nobody else. I don't want you to feel like we got forever, and I know I don't want to give you forever. At least not at that point in time. Because you're still looking for the. Because I'm still looking back. I'm still looking back. I got too too much questions. Still looking back at it. That's <laughs> Wow, you let him G you just now. She definitely. That was crazy. Lot got too much power. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Me, you, yo, we gotta have a motherfucking intervention with that motherfucker. Nah, figure out, figure out what's going He's on. He's coming. He's on his way. So that's what's up. That's what's up. So um, Lot, next question. You might want to. I didn't even hosting. answer. She ain't answer. I didn't even answer. You, you didn't get to her. You've been forgetting about Danny on purpose. You've been throwing yeah, shade. Like, what is that about? I don't know. She wearing wigs from Tiny Collection now. So. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not. Take your hat off. Take your hat off. Pull Let it up. Let them see. Let Let's them see your wig. Wow, you got a hole in the stairs. 30, 30 inches. Because when you have on. Wait, am I really taking off my hat? Yeah. Now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, shit, go ahead and shake it. She got, she got a wig she got her from the shit today. collection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. It's go. raining outside. Don't rush me. Go, don't do that. Nick. Don't do that. Now Go to the No, question. I am. I got to put that on. No, man. Go ahead. Go. So, um, what was the question again? Y'all niggas been talking. What was the question? <laughs> Rebound. 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 Oh, um. Would you risk it? Would you? Would I risk it? Would you it? protect your heart and leave? I would. Or would well, you stay and try? I would. I would probably stay and try, but still protect my heart. Like, you still got to protect your heart at all costs. Mm. So, um. The reason why I say that is because everybody has gone through something and people change. I know I have changed. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm, I'm the type of person, not saying that everybody's like that, but I'm the type of person that once I move forward, I move forward. So even if you're trying to come back, you that door is closed. There's no coming back. You allowed enough time depending on what it is. But yeah, I mean, everybody, if life is about taking risks. Sometimes you got to take risks. Even Facts. if you fall, slip and bump your head, it's a learning experience. You still take that from the positive. If it was meant to be, it'll be. If not, then it won't be. But other than that, yeah, I'll take a risk. But all right, we can go to the next question now. I feel yeah. better. All right, cool. Well, <laughs> she act like she shut the shit down. I did act like I got shut it down, but you trying to fucking just overpass me. Respond. Uh... Oh, let's get to the call of question. <laughs> let's get to it. What is it? My nigga, what are you drinking? I don't know. I was drinking a lot today, yo. Um, Clearly. Call of question. We got. Um, Forgive law, guys. <laughs> no, it is in a different part. Thank my team. So just make sure that y'all call up 516-900-2278. He's going to give the call up question real soon. Question is, um... <laughs> 
<laughs> Nubby's right. What's the craziest thing you have done to get the opposite sex attention? Or the craziest thing someone's done to get your attention? <laughs> Mm. So we ain't gonna talk about no regular Black, shit. Should we talk about this together? We gonna talk about the <laughs> cra- like the most crazy like shit that made you so like oh my god this nigga's crazy oh my god this was just out of her mind. So that's the call up question. What's the craziest thing somebody's done to get your attention? All right, we was talking about the dating one on one people trying to you know what I'm saying stand out. Think about it. I don't even know. We got a mean. call already. Oh, they feeding. Niggas, niggas ain't had no story. <laughs> I don't know my headphones. Brad right, Holy Water, who this? Look. Brad right, Holy Water, who this? Who this? Who this? Turn your turn your podcast down, baby. We hear it. Hang up on that motherfucker. Hello? Eyes off. Hang up. So yeah. So I mean to get anybody your got a story off rip? Oh, some, they come back. They come. They back. They back. All right, all right. Hold on, Brown Holy Water, y'all. Who in there? I, listen, listen, listen. Let me explain something. <laughs> Your boy. Y'all know who this is. It's Rock Mun. How are you doing? Hi, what's up? Hi, Telfair. Hi, Rock Mun. Can you walk by junior high schools yet? Junior high school yet? Yo, I can go to middle school though. What's the craziest thing you've done to get somebody's attention, or a chick done for you? I had a chick when I was in the military. You, your boy, he's been in the military. He's had that six pack spin and it's going now. <laughs> but uh, I, I had a young lady fly all the way from New York to Texas, where I was, and hold up a sign as I was getting on the plane to go overseas, asking me to marry her. And that's a true story. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. yes. That's, that's your boy. Yeah, you lit. <laughs> <that's your boy. laughs> you lit. You lit. Did, did you at least give us some dick for that? Listen, listen. <laughs> Well, however, that's before your ministry days. So, did you give us some dick yeah. for that? <laughs> she, she got the business. Anyway, <laughs> uh, 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 that's why I be telling people leave me, leave, leave me alone in the room with it for twenty minutes. It's over. It's, over. it's a proposal. <laughs> I know that's your voice, girl. I know. Nico, leave me alone with it for twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna have your knees in it? <laughs> Yo, good. Thanks for calling up, Rob. Thank you. No problem. All right, bro. All right. I I don't know. I can't even think about no story. Somebody just said crazy to me. What about you? Um, I'll stalk the girl. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely stalk you. I keep your eye on the prize. <laughs> <laughs> if I want you, I'll definitely just stalk you. Like, yeah. made myself be somewhere I was damn sure I wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> But I made sure my ass was there. Got another <laughs> one. Got another caller. Brown Holy Water, who this? Is that Abby? Is that Abby? Abby. Abby. <laughs> the number one. And what's going on? Abby, who did something crazy to you? Or what you do crazy to get somebody's attention? Listen, I don't do nothing crazy. I'm very sane. But <laughs> my son's father switched his entire unit to come to my unit because we were getting deployed. Mm-hmm. The army? Just to get with all this abiliciousness. Abiliciousness! <laughs> yeah, who is it? The army or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's so that cute. nigga probably yeah. regret that shit crazy, son. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? He said he probably what regret that say? shit. Well, they got regret a son, my nigga. Shit? Like, what you Hello, mean? Hello, we have a 14-year-old amazing son and a very good co-parenting cool relationship. Yeah, he got, he got, the, he got the fresh pair of Jordans, too. He still wants this too. ambitiousness, but she has since moved on. You still Thank give you. him some? <laughs> no, I don't sleep with my... Are you kidding me? That's some bullshit shit. Wait, and I wanted to address Ooh. something earlier. I know it was the topic, but you know what men feel dates are? Men feel dates are pussy deposits. Y'all feel like y'all hey, take somebody hey. on a date is just deposit for the pussy. No. It has women who go out here and we pay for dates too. So what, we want dick at the end of the night? Too? Yes. Yeah, y'all do. Whatever. Boy, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, <day>. Abby. <laughs> bye. Should be penis involved at some point in time. Hey, yo. Y'all don't have nothing. Y'all ain't do so, nothing um, crazy? So, like, um, what you do? Not that, not that I, you know, but at first, you know, sushi was curving me. I ain't really get it. Get I don't blame her. At, at first, you know, she was like dubbing all my calls, all my texts, and I was just on it. I just kept asking questions, kept like, I kept prolonging the conversation that wasn't even there. And she just kept curving me, curving me, curving me, curving me. And, you know, 
Ego me was like, yo, leave this little Asian chick alone, man. What the fuck going on? She ain't responding back to black success, man. Who the fuck is that? And um, I don't know. I just was like, yo, you know, I stayed on it. I you are on. blushing right what now. Are you oh, blushing? Are you so in love? I understand that though. I went, I went out my way. What I was, was the on. breaking point? What, what, it was like, she was it was like so what did you do that made her like, all right, this nigga. I kept hearing her for like two to three weeks, bro. That's not nothing crazy, bro. That's not nothing crazy. Two to three weeks? Niggas do that shit all the time, son. You know how niggas respond? You know how niggas write good morning to a female and don't get no response and every day they will write good morning and wait until that. No, but nigga, I curved curve my man for two years. I chased that down, my dude. Black, I chased that down. Black. I curved my nigga for two years. I'm sorry to hear that. Two he's years. gonna he's gonna curve you back soon. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm saying, <laughs> tables will turn. <laughs> tables, will, tables will turn. Who just shot at the car wall? That shit is <laughs> for me. That shit is crazy because one little false move and you know I I falls the fuck back. You know what I mean? Nah. That's just me. I'm Daniel, hot. I'm hot right now. We won't leave you out of this. You haven't done anything crazy. You. Oh, I'm just. Damn, nigga. Because you say you don't want to leave you out because of this. Because last week, last you felt the kind of way. I'm just going to make sure. I want to know your crazy story. What you do? I don't have a, I never did anything to get somebody's attention. Um, Somebody did I'm, anything crazy to you? Um. <laughs> Why you to drop? <laughs> Nobody did anything no crazy, idea. but people get weird. Like, people get really weird. What's that? Um, like... Girls are like this too, but you know, you got some guys who, um, like I had one guy, one of my friends told him that I like guys with haze wise and shit like that, and this nigga went and got contacts. Um, but it wasn't <laughs> crazy, but he then went and got contacts because somebody told him that we got hazy eyes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what you mean? You have that Christopher? That nigga is crazy, son. He said, I got an ex that was like herpes. What? <laughs> she keeps showing up at my family functions. <laughs> yo, yo, that is crazy. Yo, Chris that was, was dead crazy, dead son. Between Shout Christopher Chris, and, and the way shooting Shout at you. Chris, yo. Oh, I'll shit. Trouble here. Y'all yeah, better end the show oh, soon. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Damn, here goes Trouble, son. Trouble had a very cool family picture. Oh, on, they all was I'm sorry. Batman, Superman, and all that shit. Nobody did nothing crazy? You didn't do nothing crazy? I never did anything crazy. I mean... I had a, a situation where somebody was, you know, name dropping and telling stories and crazy and how they connected to this person, that person, and that person. Like, it wasn't... People just get weird. I had some... Like, a lot of people... Hold on, they like, were trying to turn you on by, by name dropping? <laughs> mm-hmm. There's some bitches who fall That's for that. Don't crazy. look at her like that. There are girls yeah, who fall like, for that shit. Like, guys try to... Guys, you know, they drop, you know, how much money they have. Like, it ain't nothing Tanya, crazy, what you do? but like... I pay your rent. I do this. I do that. Oh, I don't shit. know. Word. Somebody had to do something crazy. Like I can't be the only person that was like a stalker. No, you like, are. No, no, no. <laughs> I know black well, definitely well. a stalker. I stalk. I it's stalk not even stalker. Sure. It's like keep me eye on the prize. Like if I know you take the fucking Q two. You put yourself in position. And I got to be up at 12. I'm going to make up myself at 12. I'm like, oh, bus is late, huh? (laughs) (laughs) I'll make sure I'm there just because, you know what I'm saying? I want to get that interaction or something. I will put myself somewhere on purpose every time for no reason. If I really want, if I really want you. I remember before, before, before me, me and uh, what's his face, we got serious. Like I just remember him as this nigga that just used to always come at the bar drunk. He would never come to me sober. He would always come, like after he had a couple of items and twisted he as fuck. Nervous. He'd be like, "Hi, Tanya." Like every time I saw him, all I could remember was thinking was this nigga. Every time I saw this motherfucker, it was like just this nigga. I mean, he he kept with it after a little minute. It, it worked out, but I remember him specifically as this is dark skin guy. He just always come to the bar drunk. And then the first time he came to my bar, when he actually came to see me, he's just sitting there with this, this dumb ass smile, just smiling and ordering food and ordering drinks and not talking, just fucking smiling. I'm like, why is this? Who is his face? I'm like, his face looks familiar, but who who this nigga just fucking smiling? And then after he got home, he texts me <laughs> and he's like. Like, after go, you text me, like, oh, that was me. I'm like, my nigga, why you say it's you? Yo, and, and since then... You just addressed Nico as, as what's, what's his, his face. Mm-hmm. I always say what's his face. Oh, uh, okay. That's, <laughs> I always say, that's y'all, y'all little know, inside Y'all oh. know who my man is. I don't have to fucking say his name. Y'all know he got different aliases, and y'all know all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go forward. So, nobody got no crazy story? No, like, I never nobody had... Besides that, um, I think the heart, I mean, the, day, the asthma attack. No, the day. <laughs> so this is what I did. I think the asthma attack. The to get day, a the day I actually, <laughs> the day I actually proposed, I had to fake having diarrhea because 
Sushi have a thing where she come early. It's like <laughs> she'll say I'll be there at nine o'clock and show up at eight seventeen. And it's like, yo, dog, that's 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 forty minutes, dog. That's a valuable forty minutes. So I had to like give her a run around and she had to run to the store and I had I sent her to the pharmacy and I had to send her like a whole bunch of places in order to set up the actual scenery. It's supposed to be because I had like flowers and candles. I had to set up the camera and stuff like that. And I like gave her a whole run around. And she was vivid. Like she ain't even peep what was going on was going on when she first walked in. She didn't peep it even when she got up to me and I was on one knee. She didn't she was so mad she had her argument planned already. She already knew what she wanted to say. Fuck you, what the fuck are you doing? And it's like when she came up, she finally like caught wind. She's looking around and she's like, damn, I just walked past all this shit. Cause I had a long hallway and shit. And like And, and you was, was like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. She was, I, I uh-huh. just I just was there still. I had I had the uh what's his name? Jesse Powell was his name. He he sing the you song yeah, had that shit playing. I just yeah, and I just I just was on one knee and I just was waiting for her to just soak it all in. And she just she soaked it in and she oh just went to the sunken place and shit. And it was all back there. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. I went this to a, uh, place. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a seafood restaurant for like two weeks in a row straight just to talk to a chick. And I hate seafood. I need you to chill. <laughs> I just need you Yo, to just chill you. the fuck out. You Y'all make niggas. sure you are where you need to be. I, <laughs> I'll give you what that. What you want? No you crab legs. legs. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> niggas just grilling She's me. Like, you ain't hungry No, I'm good. I'm good tonight. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's, that's not crazy, but thanks for the proposal story. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, niggas is in the comments telling to roast me yeah. by not calling my man name. Like, y'all know his fucking name. Nah, you don't be showing him but enough But you respect, don't say right? what's, don't what's his respect. face. I always call him what's Yo, his call face. Yo, what's the craziest thing you did to get somebody your attention or uh, 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 um, have somebody get, get First of all, Christopher keeps putting all of these monologues in the freaking <laughs> comments. <laughs> Chris, call up already, Chris funny, <laughs> Oh shit! He is, he is five two though. He gonna tell me whoa. Like, I, can beat you up. I said Christopher, I am I am two hundred and ten pounds, Christopher. Why would you want to play with mean. me? Man, mean, call up. Man, I'm five eight, dude. Fuck out of here. He got mad stories in the so, comments. Trevor Yo, said all the things. Dwayne and hat. Nico is going back and forth. What? That shit is crazy. What Trevor said? Trevor said I don't think it's the wave is a test. It might be Trevor. Trevor got a lot of shit with him. But I ain't gonna lie, like Christopher, hat, hat Christopher just week. got a promotion <laughs> though, so you know. Yo, he's congrats, in a different tax Sarah bracket. Oh, right congratulations. Now. congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations Chris. Chris. He's, make, he's making a money. buck forty now, so if you want to inbox him, you definitely can. Shoot your shot at Chris, single. yo. <laughs> and he's handsome. Money. He's handsome, he's so. Stand on that money. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nobody else do nothing crazy. I'm trying to think of all my crazy shit. Though. I never had nothing do, nobody doing me crazy, son. Like I got my girlfriends that create crazy shit to them, man. But I'm not crazy. I'm this not is crazy. crazy. I'm not crazy. Somebody had to have a crazy. Lie, tell us about you being crazy. Remember yeah. you? You was fat with big heads and, and hips. <laughs> tell us about that. Well, how, how was you in Queens when you was walking through Southside with the hips and I with just, the tight I jeans? Just was a funny guy. What the fuck was I going on? You wasn't always shit, funny, bro. You <laughs> recently <laughs> got funny. Like Leek is the funny one, and you probably got it from. I remember there was a girl that was feeling me. And I did some dumb shit and tried to pass it to black and I fucked the whole package up because none of us hit. Yeah, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. You're lying. And she got mad at me like, what'd you do that for? <laughs> wow. I'm like, because black like <laughs> I had a situation yeah, where I, I tried to get everything, <laughs> son. I slammed dunk, son. It's not, it's not. I tried to get somebody <laughs> off me. Like I have, I went fake crazy. Cause it's like the sex was just so bad. He was just so he was a nice guy. He was amazing. He had a good job. He was like treating me like a princess. And then he hit and I was like, I cannot fucking do this. And I One pretended time? to ha- it, it probably, was that was bad. Nervous. My nigga, my nigga, trust me. It was that's no coming back from that shit. First of all, we can't change the size of your penis. Secondly, oh, no, it was just horrible. It was it was just like I was I can't do this. I can't do this. So like I pretended to have like Why? Cause the rhythm deep, is all we gonna have a topic. It about was bad just sex. bad. It was just bad all overall. I, like I knew to myself, like I can't put myself through this. Sometimes like, he was just the gorgeous. rhythm of your body just like, be There's too much man. bitches out here. This this why you, it's important to have sex early. Cause y'all motherfuckers Facts. be catching Don't waste feelings. Your time. Y'all be waiting like six months and then you fall in love and you get some whack dick. Now you now you're in a relationship with a nigga with whack dick. Like, you know how much bitches I know having wax sex because they waited too long to fuck a nigga? Like, mm mm, mm, mm. Get that shit out of the way. Know what the fuck you buying. <laughs> know what you getting. Know what you committing to. And Tanya, that's when they broke the, up. Sex those, is a learned those stories experience that you're saying, it, 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 it's painting you. 
It's painting you in a certain picture. Listen, I don't listen know if to you me. noticed that. Listen to me. It's not painting me. I'm just honest. I got a bit. Just I got stories. Just don't tell you. I'm okay you're with seeming, my story. You're seeming. You're leaning more. Money. Towards... I'm almost thirty. I am almost I'm thirty saying, too. I you're have leaning, stories. You're leaning more towards Drea than you are. <laughs> You know, M- Michelle Obama. <laughs> First of all, it's two opposite. But I'm telling you, like, I had that, that was a situation I had. He was so perfect, but the sex was just so whack. I, I pretended to be psychologically fucked up about a whole bunch of shit. Like, I was just pulling shit out of my ass. Like, I was talking about nah, shit that's crazy. Blunt. And just, just tell him, I can't, I'm like, I'm, nigga, you're nice, but your sex is whack. I can't be with you. Who gonna, I'm what not gonna say that. What if it's you, though? What if, what if off of those 28 whole stories, those walls of yours <laughs> got broken down? Now there's nothing what? else there. He couldn't, he couldn't feel himself neither. First of all. He's disappointed too. What about that? See, First women think it's always the dude. I used to, First of all. Uh, I used to hang with you. I used to hang out at Planned Parenthood and bag chicks on that 40 minute break. You know break. what? Shut the hell up, y'all. Because you mad and annoying. Shut <laughs> up. The 40 minute recovery break. I used to hang First of all, my walls are intact. Everybody knew they had that 40 minute recovery break. I mean, we never. <laughs> You never. I mean, everybody is just. You know, women gotta understand. Sometimes you can have whack box. You can. You could turn a dude off yes. to where a dude don't perform because your box is whack. It but was that was pussy. my situation. How you know? How you know? I have a man fully in love with me and obsessed with me. The fuck. Y'all might connect like that, but that, that person. Was to him. Not, what? Everybody perform just like everybody a guy. Perform that different. guy who everybody had whack to somebody. And that Nico chased you for two years. Might have had your good shit dick gotta to be platinum else. to him. <laughs> Your shit platinum. He chased you for two years. You're saying? Even Which if it was whack, he would have made good. The man said my walls is good in the comments. Read the shit. Moving on. That's he don't the know the difference phone. between sheet rock and concrete. <laughs> he, said, he, said, <laughs> <laughs> he said, nah, the wall's good. <laughs> yeah, all right, nigga. <laughs> Yo, man. What do you know, nigga? Bro, what do you want to hold a lot? <laughs> Who this? Yeah, it was Christopher. Fire! Hey, <laughs> What it up, OG? Yeah. He made, <laughs> ladies, ladies, Christopher make 140 inbox him he right now. Man. He got curly hair. He likes it. I'm his promoter. He's I'm his promoter. He's like, he's single. Yes. He make 140. He's single and he got the little, he like the little Rico. Christopher Williams. Yeah, right the little, the little Rico Swap. No, Rick Fox oh, is his man. uncle. Rick Fox is his uncle. Hey, yo, Chris, what you, you did something crazy or somebody did something crazy to you to get your attention? Nah. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> somebody, I got a. I got. Several phone calls from this chick boyfriend threatening me, talking about how I tried to sleep with her. First of all, she's fat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, Chris. Big girls need love too, Chris. No, 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 no. Hit me out. Hit me out. Go. No. She's fat. She got a mustache and she got a beard. Mm. Right? What? I knew her from like fifth grade. I knew her from fifth grade. I went to school with her. Mm-hmm. But he felt some type of way. So the nigga kept calling me, leaving me voicemails, threatening me, like, come see me. Thank you, and I'm like, yo, dude, I don't want her. That's not my stilo. I don't want her. <laughs> but long story short, dude like showed up at my house trying to fight me, and I looked at him, and I looked at her, and I was like, yo, y'all can go about y'all business. He, so for the bearded lady? lady? He came to your house with a bearded hmm? lady? He came, yeah, to, he house came with... to the house wow. with a bearded lady. <laughs> Shit, I still, got, I still got the screenshots from the conversation, the text message. Matter of fact, I'm about to send y'all a picture in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> he got receipts. Yo, Chris, come with Yo, receipts. You petty. Receipts is good, though. He come in with receipts. Hey, yo, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe you would do nothing crazy, though, to get a chick of attention, man. Why are you to? No, not me. I ain't doing nothing for nobody. Okay. What I look like. Chris, you're sure with, a, got with your the big head. You, you, me. you, you got just got your raise, all right? Nigga, like, so you show with a big head and just got a raise. You did so crazy. <laughs> you did a lot. You did a lot of your time. Chris just got yo, popular. Yo, you still, still only an inch taller than me. And I can't yo, dog, yo, I was mad. I, I, look like, I look like your pops, dog. When, I was, when you was that live baby shower, I look like your pops, uh, I mean, leaky shit. You know what I mean? That, I was mad you know taller than you, bro. That's because you're 31 with a, with a baldy. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I got no hair. Uh, I got no hair. My shorty said she she yeah. want me to do the fucking hair shit, though. I'm, I'm about to watch. You see, come in here with a full head, head, head of hair? <laughs> Son, if you come in here with a full head of hair, I'm, I'm her bothering you. Her mom's told her, her mom's told her, like, hey, why don't you, 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 you tell Jerry to, to do Yo, the Chris, hair thing? Yo, Chris, thanks for calling. Thank you, Chris. All right. Yeah, man. So I might be lit. I might have a full hair. I'm taking one more call, y'all. I don't even think I can get through the show. Have a good story. Have a good story. If I get a hairline, it's lit. It's
it's over. It's over. It's they over. Say, they got some spread it, is, it is gonna be Idris Elba walking the side of the I want a girl to call. I want a girl to hit, hear some crazy shit. That, girls be doing some wicked shit, man. So you tell a story about a girl doing wicked shit then? A girl try to call my girl to, to say that she loves <laughs> What happened? What? A girl Yo, trying to call talking. your girl and say bitch, what? Stop talking. Bitch, stop talking. <laughs> bitch, what? Wait, what? what? Trying to get my attention like that. She called your girl and said what? I called my girl and tell my girl she loved me, shit like that. What? Uh, what? Yeah. That's How was that going to so work? Corny. It didn't work. How chicks, was that going to work? It never works. For all the side chicks, remember, anytime you contact a nigga, oh, she was a side girl, it never works. No, it wasn't a side chick. Uh, I'm just saying, girl, just trying to... Sure. Clean that up real quick. Sure. Just clean that up real quick. I'm, I'm sure, la. Sure. Right. Mm-hmm. Side chicks are corny, man. Side chicks is wet, man. Who they be that? hurt, though. I believe in black love. Who does that? <laughs> That's black a fact. love, man. That's a fact. Black love. You not um, black love. You got a white. I am girl. black love. I'm black. You don't even got a white girl. You got I'm Asian. Black. First it's of all, she's Asian. black by technical. Technically, yeah. she's black. So Duh. that's black love. All right, black love. We I in got this. another minority, <laughs> motherfucker. Facts. That's a fact. <laughs> what are we talking about? I stuck, I stuck to the culture, homie. The fuck? <laughs> R.I.P. Side chicks, yo. Twenty. Um, what's this? Somebody said, "How she get your girl number though?" I don't know. Google's a motherfucker. Nah. <laughs> she's in your phone. <laughs> Nobody goes my nah, there's some, my phone. There's yeah. some bitches who find shit out if they want to find Tanya, some Tanya stuff. Tanya's a fucking detective on social media. She this put, is facts. Listen, These are man. Facts. Tanya to push shit together mm. on the side. <laughs> so I know who you talking about. <laughs> I know what the fuck you talking about. She's a fucking inspector gadget over there. <laughs> R.I.P. Side Chicks, though. 2018, yo. Get ready, your side chick. Stay love. Black love, man. <laughs> what? Black, black love, man. <laughs> Yo, we was going to take one more call, but we not, so it's time to wrap up the show, man. Thank you for pulling up. It's a nasty, rainy day outside. Put yeah. your protection on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wear condoms, birth control. Yeah. Girl, swallow it tonight. Don't don't just take it inside, but uh, get yeah. your shot outside, y'all, everybody. Let's go. Oh, me? Yeah. Shout the wig out. You know what? I want to shout my team out. I want to shout the whole Brown Holy Water team out. Finally, because I'll just be here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, now on some real and some shit. some 15s in the building. Yo, on some real shit, everybody sitting at this table here. Uh, energy is great. Uh, you know, from day one, it's always been good. It's always been supportive. Like, I reach out to Danny. Danny helping with some shit. Help, reach out to Blackie helping with some stuff. The relationship is good with everybody here. Everybody puts their work in, balancing themselves and balancing Brown Holy Water. Everybody got good things happening for them, coming for them. Brownholywaterpodcast.com has been launched. You get your merchandise. People got their own sayings on shirts. Like, that's a big deal. So, I uh, support it. Shout out to my team for all the good stuff that you guys do. I mean, it's only up from here. All weekend, I've been I've been walking around the place and somebody just see me go, you that Brown Holy Water girl? And that couldn't come from us not working. Working. So I mean, uh-huh. it's 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 letting me know that what we doing is getting out there. You know, I'm in the bar minding my business. Random people are walking up to me and identifying me as that. So shout out to my team for putting the work in. And I just want you guys to know it's working and it's only up from here. So brownhollywoodpodcast.com. Like, share, comment. Go, Danny. That was dope. Go, Danny. That was dope. Right. Go, Danny. <laughs> Shout out to Danny. Go, Danny. Shout out to um, everybody who tuned in. Um, I'll, shout out to... And shout out to everybody who tuned in. I'm I'm real short today. You know what I mean? Shout out to my team. Shout out to my friends. Shout out to my supporters. Shout out to everybody. Follow me at your favorite tomboy on Instagram and all that good stuff. So... Go ahead, uh, La. I zoom in on me, Before Black. Enrico Love is about to come out. I I gotta go before Black. Um, Again, thank you all for being here. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you. All right? We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for all the support. Um, Shout out to my wife, Mo. That's my man's wife, but he's like, she's like my wife too, so. What? (laughs) What the fuck? Long story, quick ending. That's my wife too. (laughs) What? Happy birthday to you. Um, my man, Jameer, he just bought a hoodie. Shout out to him. Um, BrownHolyWaterPodcast.com. Get your hoodies. Get your shirts. Your quote shirts. Be the best you. Philosophy. You know what I'm saying? All that type of good shit. Get your shirts ASAP. Hats coming soon. As soon as we get the supplier right. Um, and that's pretty much it. November 25th. next week. Oh, yeah. November 25th. We celebrate Where? our anniversary party at Lust. I'm saying we got the stripper side. We fucking with the hoes today. 
All the chicks from Starless then came over there. Or what's the other spot? Aces. They all in there. It's gonna be a good night. We gonna just celebrate, have fun, man. Enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? I'm still over here reinventing myself and getting my mind. I'm still on my spiritual journey. It's gonna swell. You know what I'm saying? I'm very enlightened now. So yeah, handsome fifteen Instagram. I'll be back soon. Um, La Brown, I'm around. And that's it, man. Black, take us out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I already know what it is. Look by the name of I Am Black Success, you know what I mean? Jerry Berry, what they call me. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say this. Um, a lot of people wanted to, to know why did I have on a raincoat. You understand? It's raining, nigga. It's you know? raining. The <laughs> I, 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 I'm, over here, I'm over here thinking a lot of people don't have windows and shit. But uh, the reason I have on a raincoat is only... Because it's an analogy, and I want y'all to catch it, right? Mm-mm. Right? Uh, every every person represents a seed, right? And your journey of life represents the soil. Right. See? Right. So what I'm saying is that you have to go through the rain in order to grow. Right. That's what's wrong with a lot of people is that they expect life to be all sunshine. Now you got this shit fucked up. You know what I mean? You can't live in the desert. You understand? So you need the rain in order to grow, in order to flourish, in order to progress. You know what I mean? So that's what the raincoat is for. You make sure you get yourself one too. You know what I mean? I go by the name of I Am Black Success. Make sure you fuck with us every Sunday, 7 p.m. Yeah, I already know what it is. DJ, you can play the motherfucker. You can't pray music. for the rain and it's you know not expect I mean? the mud. <laughs> <laughs> About that time, hope you tuned in as we go live. Got bad gal, Tanya, Georgie, and Skyline Black holding down for the guys. So get some real shit, grab a cup, catch a vibe. Every Sunday at seven, we getting you baptized, giving out all these lessons or facts, no lies. Supporting the movement that caps on the rise. I got that brown, holy water wherever I go. Make sure you like, share, comment, and follow. Talk, drink, share the link. Don't forget to let us know what you think. I got that brown, holy. Water, come get that brown, holy water. We got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. I got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. We got that brown, holy water. We got.